guys, those 19 officers that you were talking about, those 19 were actually in the school right outside the door. Now, since Columbine officers, they're told not to wait for backup, to, but to proceed into the school and go after that shooter. So why this advice wasn't followed, even though students remained inside a classroom with an active shooter for more than an hour is still under investigation. For the benefit of hindsight, where I'm sitting now, that of course it was not the right decision. It was the wrong decision, period. There's no, no excuse for that. But again, I wasn't there. Texas authorities admit waiting for more than an hour to go in and take out the shooter was a grave mistake. But I'm just telling you, from what we know, we believe there should have been an entry at that as soon as you can. They revealed a new timeline, which, as we know, resulted in the deaths of 19 students and two teachers. At 1128, the gunman crashes his truck near the school and exits with a gun and backpack filled with ammunition, then shoots at two men on the street. Two minutes later, a teacher calls 911 and says there's a man with a gun. At 1131, the gunman starts shooting in the school parking lot. At 11.33, he enters the school. Investigators say he enters through a propped open door, makes a turn down the hallway, and enters rooms 111 and 112, where he reportedly tells the kids, prepare to die, and then fires more than 100 rounds. Two minutes later, at 11.35, three Uvalde officers enter the school. By 12.03, 19 officers are inside the school in the hallway. And a student calls 911 from one of the classrooms. At 1215, more tactical officers arrive. One minute later, the same student calls 911 for a fourth time and says eight or nine kids are still alive in her classroom. But it's not until 1250, an hour and 15 minutes after officers first enter the school, that they breach the classroom door and kill the gunman. Authorities say the commander on site thought all the kids in the classroom were dead and it was a barricade situation. The on-scene commander considered a barricaded subject and that there was time and there were no ch more children at risk. This line of thinking is puzzling when you learn the children who were trapped in the classrooms made seven 911 calls during a long, agonizing hour begging for help. At approximately 1243 and 1247, she asked 911 to please send the police now. At today's press conference, Texas authorities revealed that in March, the suspect asked his sister to help him buy a gun and she flatly refused, but it's unclear if he was reported. And then in May, he spoke about school shootings with friends on Instagram. And on May 14th, he wrote, 10 more days, you'll see. And as we all now know, he carried out his massacre on May 24th. For now, reporting live here in the newsroom, Mary Beth McDade, Michaelson, back to you.